Hey guys, how's it going? Olien here. Um, and we're going to be talking about FM synthesis in Silent One because I got a pretty cool question about it in the comment section of another video. And um, yeah, the question came from DJV Future. So big shout out to you and thank you for the question. Thank you for participating. Thought I'd make a quick video about it because um, it's a cool topic and it's a cool way to get most out of Silent One and um, also to really wrap your head around um, FM, syn FM synthesis because replicating or trying to use those techniques in another synth which isn't technically meant to do that stuff uh, is a pretty good exercise to see um, where you stand when it comes to knowledge about this topic I guess. So yeah let's jump right into it. Actually I'm gonna create some sounds um, and um, well go over, go over FM synthesis a bit and how you can apply it in silent. I'm not going to go over all the basics because the video is going to get way too long if we do that. But um, yeah, if you want to have an intro video to FM, feel free to well comment and ask for that. Um, I then I can pretty much probably make a video about that as well. But anyway, let's jump in. I'm going to initialize the patch. Um, so FM frequency, well, FM stands for frequency modulation. So we have to modulate the frequency of one of the oscillators and we can do that using an LFO. Um, so we're going to ch choose pitch A down here and just pick a sine wave in oscillator one for now because um, kind of makes things, things easier. Um, yeah, so what are the limitations of using an LFO? Obviously, um, an LFO is a low frequency oscillator. So the frequencies are kind of slow. Um, if we click on free over here, it enables you to set the rate to a specific re frequency. And if we turn the rate all the way up, we see the maximum frequency we can pick is 192 hertz. So in norm normally in frequency modulation, you don't pick a specific frequency, but you set a ratio between the carrier and the operator. And um, then depending on what key you play on the keyboard, you get an output frequency and a modulation frequency, um, well, which, mod which modulates the, uh, the waveform which you put out. So in other words, let's say you, you, you choose a ratio of one to one between your modulation source and your output source, um, then the frequencies always stay the same, which means if you play a node at around 100 hertz, you're also going to get modulation uh, frequency of around 100 hertz. If you pick it around 500 hertz, it's also going to be around 500 hertz if, if the ratio is one to one. Um, if you play a, a node around 1000 hertz, same happens. So the modulation frequency always stays with in a certain relationship or in a certain ratio to the thing you output. Okay, And you can pick the ratio normally. In our case, we cannot pick the ratio and the modula modulation frequency always stays the same. So we're very limited and cannot actually do like proper FM but we can still create some cool sounds like some nice bells and some other stuff um, and we're going to get into that in a second. One thing I want to say up front, what you can also do to kind of mimic a changing f modulation frequency is picking one of these MISC, like MISC1 for example over here, and picking the key track option because now we can actually choose um, the LFO1 rate and change it according to which key we're playing, which means if we're playing lower keys, we get a lower rate, a lower LFO rate. If we play higher frequencies, we get a higher LFO rate, which means we are getting a changing modulation frequency, which kind of can mimic something that an actual FM synth does. Um, so yeah, let's create some sounds because, <clears throat> I mean, talking is one thing, but making sounds is another one. So obviously we're very limited because we have this LFO as a modulation source. It, it doesn't go that fast. So we can focus more on like lower frequencies because I mean, if you play a normal FM synth and you're playing uh, notes which are below 192 Hertz, you can apply certain ratios to that now and apply a modulation, which is actually more or less proper, you know? Um, excuse me. <clears throat> so yeah, let's try to create like some cool bells and stuff. Um, something I have to say is usually it's all over the place, like the sounds when you're using FM in silence, because it's not that as controllable as in a normal FM synth, but basically can, you can come up with some stuff. Let's try. So we turned this all the way up. Now we have to turn up the gain. So right away you can hear this like metallic FM sound 
creating some cool bells. Especially down here. Let's turn this up even more. <coughs> I'm a little bit under the weather, so excuse me for the coughing. Anyway, if we now put the pull the oscillator down, for example, we can get some more bassy sound. I'm going to increase the gain a bit by actually putting a filter on top, which doesn't do anything, but I can add some drive. So we can create some cool sounds, as you can hear. Also some bassy stuff. Or some more bells. Cool. So now we can basically play around with the key track thing over here. We can play around with the gain. We can play around with the modulation depth. We can play around with the rate. And we can also play around with the waveforms um, to just experiment. I think it's a very experimental technique in silence because you don't really know what's going to happen um, unless you apply like crazy math. But I think it's faster this way to find some cool sounds. Cool, cool bell sound. Maybe a bit more gain. Some cool dirty sounds, huh? Cool bell. I hope this isn't too loud. I never know what. So a bit, bit quieter maybe. So yeah, you can basically just play around um, with this setup. You can then also change the waveforms and just try to come up with like other crazy stuff. Cool. We can even add a little bit of reverb or something like that. And um, take down the size, a little bit less. Okay, maybe do a little arpeggio. And see what do we get here? We do a little up down. Oh, a bit of stranger things. And we can also switch this back maybe and just pick uh, a different modulation um, waveform. Some cool spooky sounds, huh? So you can also create some cinematic sounds and this kind of stuff. So yeah, this was kind of the idea behind um, FM synthesis in, in silent to maybe summarize a bit what we figured out is um, the following. We're obviously very limited in silent, but we can use an LFO to modulate the pitch of oscillator A1 or any other oscillator really. But that's the idea, using an LFO. What we have to know about the LFO is it's kind of slow and it's kind of static. So that's kind of the difference, but we can use the key tracking to kind of make up for that. And um, yeah, those are this basically the main approach. If you have any other question, because this is kind of a, a topic that wasn't that easy for me to like put down into something compact and make it very structured. So I thought I'd just do a, a freestyle the video a bit. So yeah, maybe this inspired you to try out some other stuff and create some cool FM sounds. Okay. Why not? Have a good one. Hope to see you around in some other videos. Peace.